Laravel Activity Log Package is so good that it can handle your logging system the way you want. In the last episode, we saw that how we can customize some fields for logging and how we can customize the events for logging. But now we will see how we can customize the description. What I mean with the description customization is like if you go, let me just start the server. So if you go to localhost 8000 like this and now if I see the description of this update is just update so suppose you are creating this uh, uh, application for user where user can see that what he has updated so what you can do you can go on this user model and just like you need to grab the function and just override this function so this function is actually you will find on this logs activity so here we have this function so this function is just going to log the name of the event just updated deleted but now what we are going to do we are going to attach some string with the name so it is like uh, you have and then uh, updated or deleted user so you have deleted user you have updated user this will be the result so now if i go and refresh okay it is the old one and i will go on the tinker once more like this and this time so grabbing the first one and update its name it is returning true that means it is updated and now if i refresh you can see the 19th one but this time the description says you have updated a user what if i create a user so i can simply use factory so user class and create and it says unable to locate the default user but if i refresh okay so i will say app then user and now if i refresh this page it says you have created user and i think you get the point but the most important thing is giving the name to this log so just for now you can see the log name is default but for this model i want to have a proper log name so i will grab this property and then i will say log name is user because it is a user model so i will i want to say log name is user so what i will do i will again go inside the tinker just go out and in the tinker because i have updated the user model and then i will create another user so this time user is created activity is logged and this time you can see we have log name as user this means i can go on web.php and i want to say activity where log underscore name is user so i want to grab the activity for user model only so if i refresh you can see we just uh, it says last okay we we cannot use last here we just need to say get okay let's refresh this page and we just have one entry because it just created and you got the point why we need log name this is extremely cool but the next point is so important that you cannot use this package without knowing this point is that ignoring changes to certain attribute so what if i want to update a user so this time i will say once more i will update and this time i'm updating the password so let's say password will be bcrypt and bcrypting password like secret one two three and i forgot this bracket and then uh, hit enter and then you can see it's saying yes this means update is successful if i go refresh this page it's now logged and it says that you have updated a user but it doesn't include the information of password what if i will say i want the information of password also so i will say password 
so lock the information of password so once again I am going to grab the first user and changing its password to password and let's let's just grab the first one just like before yeah this one and this time 23rd is saying that password is changed from this one to this one obviously it is encrypted but i don't want to track the change of password so for that i just need to say ignore changes for attribute so i will go on the user model and i will say ignore changes for password this means whenever there is a change on the password i don't want any log so let's go and get inside once more and change password secret one two three hit enter yeah password is updated what about the log you can see it still have the log hmm why that happened we have added this field so this happened because yes we have added the password field to be ignored but whenever we update the any model it's updated at field is also updated okay so it's a little confusing but if i go here on the sql pro and you can see on the user there's a field called updated at whenever we update this field this updated at field is also updated so we need to stop event for updated at now it will going to work so this time if i change the password to 1234 you can see the last one is 24th hit enter and this time still 24 no log for changing of password only so if i now change from password to name and now i'm going to change the name so let's say the name is abcd something <laughs> so it's not abcd actually <laughs> so name hit enter and refresh this page so no log for name attribute so this is super super useful thing and this can change the way your logging system work so you can also log only changed attributes so you can see we are saying that okay give me the name give me the email give me the password but what if i just change name and i don't want to know the fields which are not updated so let me explain this field so i will first comment this so that i can grab the changes for everything and then i will say log only dirty so i will say log only dirty is true okay so let's grab it and this time i am updating name to sarthak hit enter new log is created with this field of name only so it's just saying that okay you have changed name just name is changed what if i change name and email also so i will say give me the email at sarthak at bitfumes.com obviously spell correct okay so uh, single quote this time because only one field is changed email and name is still sarthak so it has only logged email if i comment this log dirty and if i change the email to two and hit enter true this means uh, okay uh, i forgot to go out and go in inside the tinker and then once more update it this time because we have commented the dirty part that means i just want every field which i described inside log attribute to be shown so this is another great feature of this uh, activity log package okay so let's recap it was very very long and now you can change this change the description so here is the description you have you can change that then you can change the log name you can change the log name so that you can grab the uh, certain kind of uh, logs only then you can ignore the changes on certain attribute that means we have ignored the changes that means update of password on this package and you can log the dirty thing that means the 
field which is changed you are going to see that one only so this is all about smasi is laravel activity log package and what's your view about this package what you like about this package what you didn't like about this package if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin also <laughs> and we will meet in some other videos till then goodbye